Right, so what happens if our time runs out and we lose all our lives or we touch the fire and we lose all our lives? What happens next? Well, we're going to create a game over screen. And to do the game over screen, we need to go to our backdrops. So we're going to click in the stage section and click on our backdrops. And there's something very important we need to do in the backdrops tab. We need to click on backdrop one and name it what it's supposed to be. So this is level one. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to paint a new backdrop by clicking on the backdrops and paint. Um, we're going to do a nice big screen. Let's make it a nice golden colour. Here we go. Um, now don't worry if our fires are still going on. That's absolutely fine. I could press stop actually and just leave that one. And in big writing, let's choose a colour. Let's choose red. And we can choose any font that we like. Uh, pixel, I like pixel. I'm going to say game and then underneath it over. Now remember because we're in vector I can actually stretch this out and make it nice and big. There we go we've got a game over screen. So let's call it game over in our little window for where we name things. Okay click back on level one. I'm going to click on our explorer I'm going to click on our code tab. Okay, so we need to look at our piece of code that says repeat until lives are zero. And we need to tell that sprite what happens when the lives do get to zero. Well, we don't want our sprite to be visible anymore because we just want it to show the game over screen. So we're going to hide our sprite. So we go to looks and we scroll down till we find hide and we add that right to the bottom. However, if we've got a hide, the next time we run the game, it'll still be hidden. So what do you think we need to do in our initialization? We need to, that's right, show. So find your initialization code and make sure you put show at the top of it. That means whenever you click the green flag, he will come back again. So after we've put hide, we need to change the backdrop. And we're going to change the backdrop from level one to game over. However, again, <coughs> if we're changing the backdrop, the next time we run the game, the backdrop will still be on game over. So we need to go back to our initialization code and make sure that our backdrop is on level one when we start the game. Okay. Now, this is interesting. Now that we've got this repeat until lives are zero, switched to backdrop game over, we need to think about what else would end the game. Well, up here, we've got this, if touching fire, change lives by minus one, but it's inside a forever loop. We need to change that now we don't want that to happen forever. We won't only want it to happen whilst we're playing the game, whilst we've got lives. So we can ditch that forever loop and we're going to duplicate this code underneath uh, about the timer. And we're going to take out everything that's inside the repeat until lives are zero and put back everything that was there about touching the fire. That means it's going to keep doing this until lives are zero. And if lives become zero, it's going to hide and switch the backdrop to game over. Now in the fire, we don't want the fire to keep going on the game over screen. So instead of a forever loop here with the next costume, we're going to use a repeat until lives are zero. And the same with the clone. So when the green flag is clicked, we want to show. When I create as a clone, I want to show. 
And then I need a repeat until for both of these. I could just do one and then clone it, couldn't I? Yeah. Um, let's do that. Let's do the whole thing and then clone it. So repeat until, and then I want my operators to say equals. I need my variable lives. And if lives equals zero, repeat this until lives equals zero. And when they are zero, we're going to hide the fire. There we go. Now I can duplicate this whole thing and stick it in when I start as a clone. Let's see if this works. So off we go. Sorry, didn't press the green flag properly. Off we go. We've got two fires there. Our lives are on three. Let's see if we can lose a life by touching the fire. There we go. We've lost a life. We're on two lives. My time's going to run out as well. Oh, here we go. I don't want to run into the wall. Let's see if I can touch the other fire and lose a life. I've only got five seconds left. Oh, I've lost another life. Three two, one, and I'm on my game over screen. So my timer has stopped, my lives are on zero, and I'm now on my game over.